We're going to take the TMAX 100 out of this box, load it into a couple of cameras, and then I'll show you some sample photos taken with this film stock so you know what to expect from it. To open the box, we're going to lift up this tab and tear it off. We tear off the tab so that if your camera has a memo holder like this, you can slide your tab into the memo holder, and then you'll know what kind of film you're using while you're taking photos. We'll remove the plastic tub from the box and the film from the tub. Here's the 100 ISO TMAX 35mm film. To load it into a camera that has an automatic film advance, we simply open up the back of the camera, drop the film into the cassette chamber over here, pull out a leader, and line up the end of the leader with the orange index on the far side of the camera, just like that. Close the camera, and then the camera will either advance automatically or when you push the shutter button the first time. Some cameras like this that have an automatic advance also have some silver pins right here that read the DX code on the 35mm cassette, and that will tell the camera what speed film you're using. If your camera does not have DX code pins like this one does not, you will need to manually enter that yourself. ASA and ISO are the same number. This is a 100 ISO film. If you have a camera that has a, a manual film advance like this one does, we're going to open up the back of the camera like this. We're going to drop the cassette into the cassette chamber and push the forks in place, pull out a leader and feed it into the take-up spool. Next I'm going to hold, oops. Next I'm going to hold my finger over the sprockets like this and advance once. We can now close the back of the camera. Advance until you get to your uh, to frame one on your frame counter, and remember to set your film speed to 100. And now some sample photos taken with TMAX 100 so you know what to expect from this film.